This is Dr. Rupali Shirke working as an associate professor at electronics department at Walchan Institute of Technology, Shulapur. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss with the trapped diode. Learning outcomes. At the end of this video, students are able to describe the construction, working and characteristics of the trapped diode. Also, they can know the application area of this diode. These are the contents which are going to cover in this video. A trapped stands for the trapped plasma avalanche transit time diode. This is a high frequency generator which generates the microwave frequencies with the high efficiency. The efficiency range from 20 to 60 percent. As these are acting as a microwave generator, they operate with the uh, operate from few hundred megahertz to gigahertz. They also have a output power which is varying in a several hundred watts. When we see the structure of this, they can be either formed in a form of n plus p p plus or p plus n n plus. Compared to the transit time uh, transfer electronics devices, they have only one junction whereas this has a PN junction like a PN junction diode. They belong to the family of the impact diode. Here this figure shows the structure of P plus and N plus. The size of the P plus varies from 2.5 micrometer to 7.5 micrometer while N which is called as a depletion region it varies from 2.5 to 12.5 micrometer the width of this diode is around about the 50 micrometer the material used for designing of this is not a gallium arsenide but it is designed by using either silicon or germanium this Diodes operates in the reverse bias condition and they form a plasma formation is taking place in this diode. The plasma formation is nothing but a formation due to the ions and the electrons. Ions are more in the P type of material and electrons are in the N type of material. This plasma formation takes place due to the avalanche multiplication. Here the avalanche multiplication forms at the depletion region which is a form due to the formation of the charge carriers charge carriers between of the electrons and holes after uh, uh, at the point of the threshold voltage which we are calling as the avalanche breakdown voltage at the avalanche breakdown voltage plasma formation takes place in this diode to operate this diode a current pulses are being applied. Let us see by the VI characteristics how the operation of this diode takes place. This figures represent the VI characteristics of the trapped diode. On a Y axis it is representing voltage and current. On the X axis it is representing the time duration. Here the graph is being represented with dots and solid lines. The solid lines are representing the voltage while these dots are representing the current. At a point A, at a point A, the electric field is uniform throughout the sample that is throughout the diode but the electric field is less than the avalanche breakdown voltage. So, they acts as a normal diode and the diode charges like a linear capacitor. At this point the current density current density is represented by the epsilon d d e by d t where epsilon is nothing but a permittivity of the semiconductor devices. At the point a to b from the point a to b at this point the magnitude of the electric field increases above the breakdown voltage. So it is sufficient 
number of the charge carriers are generated this is due due to a particle current ip exceed the external current over here so there are the number of charge charge carrier form in this and this electric field is dispersed through the depletion region causing the voltage to decrease from b to c point this is a region where dense plasma formation takes place that is and the dense plasma formation is due to the electrons and holes generation yeah from c to d point some electrons and holes are drift out at the end of the depletion region and this take a sufficient time to remove this charges at the point d the voltage decreases we can see in this graph at the point the voltage is dropped over here the voltage is decrease at point d and a long time is required to clear the plasma as the total plasma charge is large compared to the charge per unit time in the external circuit at the point e the plasma is been removed but there are few residual charges of holes and electrons remain at the one end of the depletion layer so uh, to completely remove this it takes some time duration that is from e to f from e to f the voltage is again start increasing as the residual charges are been removed at the point f all the charge are generally uh, generated internally are been totally removed but at this point the voltage is increasing but the current is reaching to zero from the point f to g the diode again start charging like a linear capacitor at the point g the diode current comes to zero at that time duration the time of that pulses is half of the and uh, total pulse the voltage remains constant from point after the point g so it is represented from g to a again the voltage is maximum but current is minimum from the a again the cycle start repeating this is how the working of the diode takes place so we represent the different region in this graph that is from point a to b we call it as charging time from b to c we called as a plasma formation as there is a plasma formation taking place between holes and electrons from d to e the plasma extraction is done e to f this region is known to be a residual extraction duration and from f to g again the diode start charging advantage and disadvantages of this trapped diode advantages as they are working with the high, uh, at a microwave frequency with the high efficiency they are uh, they have a high larger efficiency at dc to the rf signal generation uh, the operating range of this frequency starts from megahertz to gigahertz compared with the impact diode they have a high efficiency they have a low power dissipation and suitable for the pulse operation means the input signals are in a form of the pulses rf signals the disadvantages uh, as they belongs to the family of the impact uh, impact diode they have a high noise figure Uh, there comes a limitation for the lower frequency as these are working on the higher frequency 
दे दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी सेंसिटिव टू द हॉर्मोनिक्स बिकॉज दे आर वर्किंग ओनली विद द पल्सेस एप्लीकेशन एरियाज ऑफ दिस डायोड आर इन द रडार डॉपलर रडार दे आर यूज एज अ लो पावर डॉपलर रडार दे आर ऑल्सो यूज एज अ लोकल ऑसिलेटर इन द रडार सिस्टीम ऑल्सो इन अ माइक्रो माइकॉन लैंडिंग सिस्टीम दिस ट्रैपैड डायोड्स आर यूज फॉर जनरेटिंग द माइक्रो फ्रिक्वेंसीज इन द एयरक्राफ्ट दे आर यूज इन एज अ रेडियो एलिमीटर also in a phaser radar system these are used as an amplifier as well as a micro signal generators these are the application areas of the trapped diodes let us recall what can be the difference between the impact diode and the trapped diode if they are belonging to the same family the basic difference is that impact diode utilize the ionization ionization multiplication at that same time they also use a avalanche multiplication but works as a plasma extraction these are the few references thank you